they've arrived. The replacements. If you're new to the channel, I bought some £40 cheap Amazon fog lights to try and improve the quality of the light coming out of my girlfriend's NC750. They're a bit crap, to be honest. There's an update video, if you, I'll put a link up here somewhere. Um, so I started looking online, I sent those ones back, I finally found a set of fog lights which I think are exactly the same as the ones I've got which I'm really impressed with. So, they're there. So let's see what's in the box, shall we? Right, I'm very aware this is a bit of an odd angle but uh, I haven't really got a decent enough tripod so we'll have to go with it. So these are the lights, These, this is the wiring loom. Um, now with mine, the wiring loom came with the lights. It looks like the company that was making these lights, Litio or Lito or however you say it, I'll put the spelling here. It looks like they made these lights which are fine and the wiring loom was the thing that was uh, actually letting it down. So they stopped providing it with a wiring loom. Right, so going into this, these are the lights. For BMW motorcycle auxiliary lamp, this is what we get in the box. Let's budge this back a bit. So you get two of these. Now, there we go. So this is what they look like. You can see the four LEDs in there. They are identical to mine. So that's actually upside down, that's the top. So they're a cast body. This is like a black plastic. This is a, I don't know whether that's glass, but it feels like glass, but all, it's either glass or a very hard Perspex lens, but that really good. They've got the, this is all heat sink at the back. So, and then they come with the wire up to this, and then they've got these waterproof connectors, which is fantastic. Really good, they're not coming apart at all. So you get two of those. Now these are the clamps, so that goes on whatever your engine bar and like that. It's quite nice because you've got actually a better, it's when, when you undo this screw, you've got a better range of motion so you can fit them to fatter bars. And then that comes down to this. Again, there's screws in the bottom there. So that will go around there like that pick the light up and then that mounts to the top there when you undo the top of that you've got the movement so you can actually turn it round you've got the movement of the swivel which is great because that means I can actually put those on top of my girlfriend's bike spin this bit round and have them hanging essentially like that underneath from the bars which gives me so much more in the way of adjustment you get a load of bolts as well I might have already said this but everything in this box was 80 pounds now that is, on the surface, cheaper than mine were. Mine were 98, I think they were. So we'll put that to one side and we'll buy this. Now, when you buy these on Amazon, they suggest buying a, a separate wiring loom. This is not that wiring loom. I'll put that picture here. Now, the reason I bought this one instead, this one is identical to the one I've got on my bike. So you've got Decent battery terminal connectors for both sides. You've got a switch, which I don't know whether it's waterproof. I replaced it before, and I will probably also replace it for this one because I know this one, This is the one I bought last time, if you didn't watch the previous videos. This is a dedicated waterproof motorcycle switch. I will probably replace it with that because that's what I did with mine. The only reason I replaced it with mine is because I thought this was just a bit cheap and tacky. Uh, and then this is the big relay, which is the thing that caused me problems last time. So let me just give you a bit of a demo of what actually happened. So you've got four pins here and they plug in to the, the sockets there. So that's all it is. Now, what happened with mine is I hadn't buried this well enough in the bike. So it got wet, water got in between those and it was just shorting out, which just meant the lights were just with the connections between here with all the water, the lights were just flickering on and off, end up draining my battery and died, which is really not fun. Since then, the Litiu, this company, I wrote to them and basically said, I need a new wiring loom because this is basically blamed them. So they sent me a brand new set of lights, including that wiring loom, which was fantastic, before this was sold as a set by XLED. 
um, and they're the company that would, they were just really great. They, they operate through Amazon, so I can't really fault them. I don't know whether it's Amazon or them that were great, but you know. Now, why did I buy this wiring loom over the other one? I will put a picture of the connectors on the other wiring loom here. And then if you can see on this, this comes with these, which it's almost like that's the one that came off. So there's a connect connection to the light. There's a connection to the wiring loom, clips in, perfect, all sealed. Don't have to worry about anything. Then I literally just have to mount this out the out of the way of the water, clip that one to the other light, mount the switch, happy days. This wiring loom was 19 pounds, I think it was. Um, so you're, you're basically paying the same price I did for the lights previously. Uh, really, really good, really happy, all through Amazon. Uh, I'll put links in the description to both of these. Now I'm not gonna bother doing a, a mounting video because I did that before, that's essentially the same video so I don't wanna waste your guys' time. But what I will do is I won't put this video up until she's had them on her bike for a couple of weeks. So that will give us time to actually test whether they're gonna survive or whether they're not. Um, I've got this exact pair of lights on mine. I've had them on my bike for a couple of years. Like I've mentioned before, the wiring loom was the only thing that actually let it down um and mine have been completely waterproof there are some instances where people have had water in the lens and stuff like that so they've sent them back and got a full refund or full refund or a replacement kit i've had them on my bike for a couple of years and they've been fantastic and i cannot fault them this is literally just a test fitment so these are going to go essentially going to hang off here this is how you get to the battery in on the nc this is the front storage area or compartment whatever you want to call it um, the battery's in here, which does make this bike a bit, bit of a pain to work on. But what I've done, this is all going to be neatened up, by the way. This is the this is the relay. So it's right under here. That is in the battery compartment, and there is no way in washing or anything that that is going to get wet, because you can't. Getting through there out to the front is a maze of sort of wiggling stuff through, which is what I've been trying to do with all this all this wiring. So I've done that, I've run the switch up here. So that, that's the original switch. So I think I'm gonna try and mount it under here, which is underneath the uh, heated grips. But let's just pop these there. So turn the switch on, really bright, and there's a lovely red light on this, but they are incredibly bright. Similar to the old ones, but these ones don't have any modes, so they're literally just on and off. Sorry if you've got epilepsy. Um, so I'm really happy with those. They are, I mean, if I do the same thing with mine. Where's my switch? So they are exactly the same as mine. So all I'm gonna do now is fit the switch on here, tidy up all this wiring, because the battery's just a mess to get to at the moment. And then I'm gonna mount those, and then we'll see how they last. So here we have the final product just before I do actually send you across to uh, the update. So I actually, you'll probably have seen this horn a couple of weeks ago. This is the Denali sound bomb. It was a bit of a pain in the backside to fit this with these because this is the only real place these could fit unless I fit these further back, but then the horn would just get in the way. But they're really good. And up here, this is where the, the switch is, just here. So it fit in really nicely there. And then if I just, if I come round here, that's what you're left with. And if I just turn on the bike, you'll see the headlights as well. So it actually suits the bike really well. So let's hope these ones actually last better than the last ones did. So welcome to the update and an absolutely filthy NZ750X. They're still here and they still work. Now, Unfortunately, I can only talk for this one, not that one, because that one's a brand new one. It's not because the lights failed. As you might be able to see, we've got a slightly droopy, Gibby handguard, and a slightly non-existent Gibby handguard on that side. Unfortunately, that handguard's here, and the lever's here. So the issue that actually happened was is none of her fault. Commuting to work the other day, she came around a corner on a dark back lane, one of the lanes going into work, and hit about two and a half feet 
of water and she hit a road flood, basically. I'll put a clip in a second. Um, but yeah, it just lifted the bike up underneath her. She didn't really have time to react and went straight over. You will either have seen a review on these crash bars last week or you'll see one next week because those things have meant the only things that have been damaged is that and uh, we sacrificed one of the lights that we have no idea where that is. It's at the bottom of the flood. So I, I just had to order another set. This one's still an original though. Luckily when, it got, when that one got ripped off, it ripped off away the bottom half. It just pulled the wires out. So the rest of the wiring limb's completely fine. This one survived 6 a.m. starts at sort of like minus four, minus five degrees. It's dealt with torrential rain, it's dealt with fog, it's dealt with absolutely everything you could throw at it in the last couple of weeks. So I'm quietly confident that they will survive just as well as my ones have. Again, this is one for subscribers or people that have been following the channel for a couple of weeks. As I did have the previous fog lights and the fog light updates earlier in the channel. So go, and go back and have a look if you haven't already and you've just stumbled across this. The only thing that's slightly negative about them, the, these washers here have got a little bit of surface rust on. Uh, mine don't seem to have that, so I don't know whether that's just because it's been really, really crap for the last couple of days. After a wet day, I tend to dry my bike with the dryer, like the rule dryer that's up, up there. I, t I tend to dry mine with that when I get home. Um, Whereas she tends to just come in because it's really chilly at the moment. So what I might do is I'll just take these out, cover them in hammerite, um, just to stop the sort of weather and getting to them. It's still fine. They don't move at all. They're solid. And again, still work. Uh, I'm really happy with them. They were worth the extra, uh, the extra little bit of money. So hopefully these ones will last as well as mine did. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.